All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I've been in this job 20 years. I never fired my gun. Rehab. Straight over. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. Keep going on this road. I'll speak to the DA. Suffering. I don't know, Cole. He's an easy make, and the DA likes to go to identify. I'll convince him to let him go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. That's a nice story, Miss Perry. But it's not what really happened. You think I'm making this up? I'm not a silly little kid. I don't tell tales just to get attention. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. We can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. 
Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So you didn't see what happened? By the time I got out there, it was all over. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Stalling just makes us more inquisitive, Lynch. We'll get to the bottom of this, with or without you. That guy has a serious attitude problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. and has life insurance. We can notify next of kin. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to brake before the impact.
Sorry, pal. That's all I got. Even bartenders run out of gossip. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks, ma'am. Looks like we caught a break on this one. there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got there. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? Vicinity. See the man at 211 just occurred. Third and Hill Street. Stand by for further unit to handle code 3 identified. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. More is there to tell. Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car.
expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. You married? The arguments are never any different. We're leaving, Lorna, but this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves scarce. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business... You think Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. Straight on here. You're taking the next left. right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Don't let that asshole get away. Go on, get after him! All right, I get... I don't know the way. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. 
We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. You need to take this up with Leroy. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Any messages? Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thank you. You know the way. You can drive. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters, both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. The trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray's one more time in trial for evidence. So 
there was some truth to Sheldon's cock and bull story after all. He didn't stop, but he didn't kill Patterson either. I'm no betting man, but I know where I'd put all my chips. The grieving widow and her shoulder to cry on. Now all we need is a murder weapon. I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. Lester could be a heel, We just wanted but to check the crime scene over one more time. That's a lousy wish for anyone to go out. If that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. All right. Step by step, check every inch of ground. Lester could be a heel, but... That's a lousy way for anyone to go out. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Others will confirm this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this.
Leroy Sabo. You're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Go! I'll bring the car around. It's too late, Sabo. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. 